All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's Man Jay. So, yeah, the camera of choice right now uh, is this setup right here. I've given you my camera of choice for quite some time now, but I want to go ahead and give you a review, actually, of this camera, uh, the Canon SL3. Now, I went from the Canon SL2 over to this one. Uh, this one shoots in 4K uh, now, and um, you got the um, new chip in here. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty much the same uh same camera all my lenses and everything work on here this has got to be uh one of the best purchases that i've ever made uh when it comes to my youtube channel now you do get this flip out screen here it rotates around uh like that uh the menu on here is super easy to understand uh the controls are really simple uh, and I just think that this is a must if you're a YouTuber and you're using a cell phone for your videos. So as you can see here, it has this very simple, uh, easy menu to understand. Um, you can't go wrong with this. Everything is super easy when navigating through all the menus. Um, it's just... Um, it's really, really nice. And I don't, I don't think a person who's using a, a cell phone will be intimidated by this. And I say that because I was that person. I didn't really know about, um, DSLRs and everything. I just didn't have, uh, too much knowledge on DSLRs. Uh, and then I started doing some research and homework and asking questions to people who were already using them. And then, you know, they, I kind of made my own choice and my final choice. Now, this camera right here isn't a big DSLR. If you want to remove the lens, you just press right there and twist to the left. Just remember lefty loosey, righty tighty. You got that 24 megapixel um, sensor in there and it is absolutely awesome to use. Uh, the quality of the footage comes out very well. As you can see in all of my videos that I use this with, um, you guys always tell me how you like the blurred background. And I've gone over it a bunch of times. That is this setup right here, the 24 millimeter lens with this um, camera. So the camera itself, I bought the body this time. I didn't buy the full kit. Um, uh, I didn't feel the need. I was going to use the actual kit lens. The kit lenses are not really made to, they just get the starters, you know what I'm saying? So I have two lenses right now. I'm going to order another one. I have my 18 to 10 millimeter, which I think is really good. It's a wide angle lens and it's not much uh, zoom on it, as you can see here. Not much. But it really gets the job done. I can get a short distance on it. But uh, the camera itself, like I said, the controls are super easy. It's not a big camera by any means. It is a smaller DSLR. As you can see here, one thing that's important, I think you guys would, would want to know, is it has a mic input and also has uh, audio. You see? Right there. So you want, if that's something that, you know, you would consider... Uh, when you have a DSLR, some people would like that. Then you've got the um, HDMI out, and then you've got the uh, USB port there. I never use that USB port, and that's probably just for software updates uh, and possibly charging. But I actually use, um, I have sev several batteries. These are just little batteries that I bought extra. Let me see if I can show you here. I bought, I have several batteries I already had a bunch of batteries from my other camera. Uh, and um, here is one. I needed more power. So these are 1040. Uh, and you definitely, you're going to need some extra power when you, with these cameras because they don't last very long at all. Let me show you the SD card that I'm using here. It has a full slot. Uh, and I use the adapter. And then I'm using this 256 gig Samsung Evo. That's the card I've been using for a very long time, uh, and it's worked, held up fairly well. You can record 30 minutes of video straight through with no issues whatsoever. It does have flash. I don't just use this for video. I actually you take a lot of photos uh, with this camera. Uh, I think the 24 millimeter lens coupled with this camera is the ultimate setup. You can take some of the best high quality photos. It's unreal. Now, this can't, this lens doesn't zoom. It's a prime lens, so it doesn't zoom, but you can get some great, great footage, uh, and cameras and photos, uh, with this particular setup. This is just my tripod mount. I just leave it mounted up. Now, when I am doing video, I use this Boya shotgun mic. It's a really small mic and it just hooks into the top there. 
I don't use flash or anything. I have external lighting. So uh, this is really helpful to getting better audio audio quality. Uh, but the camera itself, man, I never really, I gave you a setup, you know, let you see my current setup, but the camera is actually doing really, really well. Uh, I don't anticipate having any problems with this. I had my SL2 for a year, and then I went to this camera, the SL3, the next step, and I'll probably go to the SL4 whenever it comes out. So um, again, very nice camera. You just can't go wrong with, with these Canon cameras. They're very affordable. This camera, the body costs $549, and I believe if you want the kit lens, it's $649. I'm not sure you have to check the current pricing uh, wherever you decide to buy, but I purchased so much from B&H. I got all this from B&H except for this. I got the, the lens and this camera from B&H, uh, and I bought this. I found a sale on this uh, for uh, 195 or 200 bucks on eBay, and this came from Amazon. Uh, so, um, yeah, the Canon SL3 uh, is probably one of the best options for a person who's actually looking to get into YouTube. Uh, if you Not even that. Uh, it's a starter camera, not just for YouTube. It's a starter DSLR is the way I see it. It's lightweight, compact, uh, very nice. It comes with a strap in the bag, but I don't travel with this. So um, I use my, my cell phone when I'm traveling for some things like this G8 that I'm recording with. I choose to take this phone or just a phone that I think is going to have a really good camera. Uh, but this uh, Canon SL3 is really, really nice. It's again, one of the best things that I did for my my channel and myself was to grab an affordable DSLR. You don't need a thousand dollar camera to do YouTube. I saw something. This is real funny. I, I saw it from Terry Warfield on I think it was on Twitter. I can't believe where I saw that. He said thousands of dollars for all this gear for YouTube and people watch videos in 480p. That is hilarious, man. And the truth is, man, if your network isn't strong enough, you're not going to be able to stream YouTube uh, anything higher than 480p you know, without it buffering a lot. So thankfully, T-Mobile, I can stream in, in 1440p uh, with no buffer. Uh, nonetheless, shout out to Terry Warfield. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to check out that. I'm going to have to check out that uh, DJI thing he keeps recording about because I really like my GoPro Hero 7 Black. Uh, it's just very versatile. I really like it. And I'm, I'm going to have to check that thing out, man. He's been pumping that up a lot, man. He's getting a lot of love on that, too. Uh, so I'm going to have to check that out. But now, YouTube, I primarily use this. Uh, for vlogs and shooting videos, I'll put the wide angle lens on, depending on the setting. Uh, and, and then I use the GoPro Hero 7 Black for my car channel and sometimes this channel. Uh, but you know, this camera, folks, it's a, it's a great camera. Photos come out fantastic. Video comes out great. What more could you ask for? Anyway, it's your man Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed a quick update. Um, or I guess a review on my, my camera. This is the Canon SL3. I love this camera. This is so nice.